Major League Cricket continued on Monday with a clash between Karan Pollard and Nicholas Puran's Mumbai Indians New York and Texas Super Kings with Dwayne Bravo. Gerard Morrisili has a recap of the match which was live on Sportsmax. Texas Kings winning the toss and batting versus MI New York, coming off a comprehensive 105-run victory against LA Knight Riders one day earlier. Devon Conway top scored in the innings, starting with this boundary in the first over. South African Faf Duplissi fell victim to countryman Kegizo Rabada, his first of two wickets. But Conway was in total control of the tempo, hitting boundaries at will. He had nine of them, eight fours and a six, striking at a rate of 134.54 how we explain the game and how we listen. This single in the 14th over brought up a half century for the New Zealander, his second of the tournament. Conway. Conway added 24 runs to his tally before the being cleaned up by Rashid Khan for 74. Straight into fraction, but look, it's only halfway up the stump. Mitch Seitner pushed the scoring at the death. Oh, God, what a great shot that is from Mitchell Seitner. He managed three boundaries in his knock of 27, at a strike rate of over 200. In the end, Texas Super Kings posting 154 for 7 of 20 overs. A couple of changes in the MI New York lineup with Cheyenne Jahangir sent up the order. New York lost Monak Patel early, but Jahangir's move up the order seemed fruitful. There weren't many scoring opportunities for MI New York, but Jahangir cashed in on the odd delivery. Nicholas Puran looked to continue his fine hitting form, smacking this six of Mohamed Mohsin. But huge misjudgment from the left-hander would provide TSK with a wicket, moving the it's score calling. to 84 for three in the 13th uh, over. Maybe not. Jahangir fell soon after, out stumped off the bowling of Mohsin, who finished with two for 36. MI New York may have fancied their chances of winning with Tim David at the crease and 21 runs needed off the final over, but David was removed off the first delivery. MI New York managing just three runs from the over, Wild finishing on 137 for eight, and in TSK the 17 run victory. Final over. Major League Cricket continues tonight on Sports Max, where bottom of the table Los Angeles Knight Riders face fifth place San Francisco Unicorn starting at 7 30 pm in Jamaica, 8 30 for the rest of the Caribbean. Well, we jump across now, we jump across the pond as both uh, England and Australia prepare for what could be the deciding force Ashes test in Manchester. Australia currently lead the five-man series 2-1 and will retain the legendary Ashes own once they avoid defeat at Old Trafford. However, their captain Pat Cummings says the baggy greens are looking for an outright victory. The first preference is always try and win. Um, you know, we we drew the 2019 series, and we've all come back with a you know, pretty clear that we want to win this one. Um, so, yeah, I think it's one of those things. You you know, as the game progresses, you, you maybe start working out you know how risky risky you want to be. Um, but you know, looking at the forecast, it looks like it's okay. So I'm sure we'll get a match in. Well, England captain Ben Stokes lamented their desire to win and level the series. I think all three games were so tight, and then for us to get over the line in that one at Headingley, um, again, was, yeah, it's just been a great three games to be a part of. Um, you know, I don't think me and Pat want them going too close again like that. This is a bit, um, it does get a bit stressful at times, but, you know, again, we, we know that we what we need to do. Um, Australia, I don't know if they'll be thinking like that, but they know they just they don't have to win this. The draw is good enough for them, but yeah, we know we have to go out there and try and win it, so we're doing everything we can to do that. Stokes also mentioned that this could be one of the best Ashes series of all time. Faz, you're with us. Good afternoon. Do you agree? It could be. It's been heading in that direction, but there's still two matches to play, and there have really been some outstanding Ashes series over the many years, and indeed, as I suppose uh, if they do achieve it from coming 2-0 down to win it 3-2, it would really rank among the greatest of all time because that's only been done, been done once, not just in Ashes series, but in all series. Only one team has ever come back from 2-0 down to win a Test series 3-2, and that was, in, interestingly enough, in an Ashes series, 1936-37, when the Australian team were 2-0 down at home and came back to win the last three Test matches 
by comfortable margins. So yeah, it, it, it would be historic. Uh, it, it could be the greatest after series of all time if it happens. Uh, but there's a lot of cricket to be played over the next fortnight. Yeah, and you know, heading into this test, a lot of questions um, regarding selection. Moin Ali retains his number three spot. That's one of the talking points. Where do you stand on that discussion? There are many different talking points. And, and again, it's, it's because England are determined to continue with their, their style. Whatever it's branded, whatever it's named, uh, the, the fact that Johnny Bairstow remains the keeper tells you that they believe the way they have been playing for the last 15 months or so, it, more often than not, they will win. Yes, there will be the, the odd embarrassment, the odd hiccup. They will tunnel down in this series. It's 2-1. They can still lose the series comfortably. But they are backing themselves to go the unorthodox way. And Moin Ali is no stranger to number three at county level. He's played for Worcestershire. That was his first county before moving to his home county of Warwickshire. He batted at number three for a long time in the first class game. So he is very much a frontline batter in his own right. And listening to his comments leading up to the match, he says that the higher up the order he goes, it allows him to concentrate more on his batting because he was picked as primary as a spinner in 2014 when Graham Swan suddenly announced his retirement. So, so yes, it, it will seem unconventional in the context of test match cricket, but in terms of what Moeen Ali can bring at number three, it's, it's well in keeping with what England are doing. First, a lot of discussion this week about the form of uh, David Warner, um, four and one in the last test, and uh, looks a shadow of himself, but um, thumbs up from the captain, Pat Cummins, today that he is, he is in Warner's corner and confident that he can come good at the right time. Which I don't necessarily agree with, but I understand the point that they're coming from because they, they've just lost the last test match. They don't want to appear to be in disarray over the, the situation because they're still two one up. If the series is drawn, they retain the ashes, as, as uh, the captain mentioned, what, what, what happened in 2019. But yeah, they, they, it's, it's, it's clearly a situation where David Warner is coming to the end of his career. He wants to finish up in Sydney in the next Australian summer. Will the selectors allow that? I, I think not, but, but again, we'll have to wait and see. And once more, if he falls cheaply in both innings to Stuart Broad, who has been taking his wicket almost every time, and it proves critical, will the question obviously be asked that sentiment prevailed over the, the hard-nosed reality that David Warner is past his best? Yeah, and you went there, and I, I was going to ask you about that as well, because um, Warner is regarded as a mentally tough individual but his vulnerability to Stuart Broad certainly opens up some questions about his confidence against Broad um, but you are suggesting that it may be just that he's past his best and not necessarily anything to do with being vulnerable or lacking in confidence against Broad. I suppose the broad style of bowling to the left-hander is also a factor, but there, there's clearly some psychology in it as well. The fact that he's now getting him almost every time and very, very cheaply as well. And, and I think David Warner was shaken by that sandpaper gate experience. You'll remember he was in tears and his, his whole demeanor changed. He was the bulldog, the, the, the Rottweiler of Australian cricket, snarling at everybody on the field and so on. And it changed immediately after when he was brought back into the game. So, so that in itself has probably changed him and he's probably not as competitive as he used to be. But again, the, the, the sheer numbers of it will, will tell us that if this, the discussion hasn't taken place already, the Australian selectors will be having a word with David Warner pretty soon. Yeah, and, and, and Faz Sportsmax has broadcast rights for one match in this Ashes series, and it's this match starting tomorrow morning. Um, how, 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 how important is it that Sportsmax has this critical match that um, could pretty much decide the series? Well, this is the network of champions, isn't it? And <laughs> it could be uh, the, the occasion when we see uh, either uh, England pulling level and, and setting the stage. Remember as well, this is also, I talk about champions, James Anderson is back in the England team yes. on his home ground at Old Trafford where he's never taken a five-wicket innings hole 
Honest home ground is not on the honors board, and this is more than likely going to be his final test match. So, for sports match and the viewers, I don't need to build it up yeah. uh, because it's tantalizingly poised. Yeah. Uh, anything could happen going into this encounter, the way both teams are playing. And Jimmy Anderson with his, his likely swan song at Old Trafford, but possibly swan song as far as the remaining two tests of this series, it really sets the stage beautifully. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty certain, uh, Faz, that you will miss MCL cricket, Major League cricket, MLC cricket tonight because you want an early morning to watch Test cricket. I make the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> we have the app you can take it on your phone in the bed you could lie down until you fall asleep watch the um, major league cricket and then wake up because you love cricket so much and watch the test i'll, I'll, be, I'll keep that in mind <laughs> <laughs> we have to go let's give him a break <laughs> break time bye fast thank you take, take <laughs> Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment.